Okay, so no glasses today. Uh, I realized it was reflecting off the light I had, but also, as you may have seen by now, I was outdoors. So um, that allows me to put sunglasses on. I was at the range this morning, and I had the range all to myself this morning, which was kind of nice. Um, but what that meant was I set up the camera to try to film myself um, and check on my form. Um, but what that actually turned out to be was a vanity project. Um, as you have just seen. I actually picked up archery late last year because I have this sort of, with everything that was happening, I had this nightmarish uh, scenario that I keep playing on in my head where, you know, zombies gonna come and because, you know, we don't live in America, we don't have guns, archery is the way out. Just, I'm just joking. But uh, joking aside, actually, um, I really enjoyed archery because I think for those times when you're shooting, you're able to sort of clear your mind and just focus on you know your form um, your breathing and um, where your arrows are going so uh, if you've never tried it before I seriously encourage you to do so and also in my head I think I look pretty good doing it but that could just be me I don't know you tell me in the comment section below but actually today I'm going to talk about collaborations um, this week I actually started three projects um, and all of them involved working with different creatives and it really opened up my eyes. You see the projects later on down the line so make sure you watch this space. If you haven't subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel already. Um, but yeah it really gave me an opportunity to, to look at how others work and really challenge myself. And earlier this week I went out with some friends, uh, people who are photographers, video makers from my church to somewhere I've never been before. Um, if you, uh, I went to Holt Country Park yeah, Holt Country Park. It's about 40 minutes drive away from Norwich. It's beautiful. It's about, according to the website, it's about 100 acres of land for you to explore. And I really ex enjoy exploring. Maybe after being trapped indoors for more or less the better part of a year, you know, exploring really takes on a whole new meaning. But aside from that, it's also been really fun watching other people work, watching my friends do things differently and watching my friends. I think sometimes when you're working with other people, it um, sort of, it will, it will inevitably sort of push you guys, um, you know, all of us further along the line because, you know, we're learning um, how people are working on the go and you're going to try to replicate some of that or, you know, you try to, sometimes it's the ego thing, right? You try, there's a little bit of a one-upmanship, um, but it's all, you know, in good spirits and I think it was really cool to see my friends try to do things differently, you know. My friend Loving Grace, who also has a drone, she was pushing herself to fly her drone further than she has ever flown before. Oh, gee. YouTube sensation. Yeah, so... Um, <laughs> where do you hear that? Yeah, where do you think... How, how, you know, how are you finding today? Um, today is mystical, magical. Um, it's fabulous. I don't know. Like <laughs> <laughs> how far did you take a drone up today? Um, I took it up to, what, 100 meters? So that beats my... 400. 400? <laughs> that's I think that's illegal. Does that mean you broke the law? <laughs> um, no comment. Um, seeing Stuart with, you know, his gimbal, running and gunning, um, trying new things. Angry, depressed. <laughs> oh, okay, no, do a sad one. It's a sad one. Oh. <laughs> and he walks away. <laughs> do you want me to go back and do it Yeah, again? go on then. Put like backwards. <laughs> Margarita had a film camera and her DSLR uh, and she was shooting at the same time, shooting both at the same time. Uh, my friend Becky's never owned a camera before, you know, I've lent her my, my second camera um, the whole time and, you know, just seeing how her brain works when it comes to trying out new gear. It was just a really, really nice experience and I think for myself, I decided I was going to limit myself to this kit lens, the ones that I'm shooting with, <laughs> which I don't normally do unless if I'm shooting a uh, video because it's got the wider angle. But um, yeah, I shot 
every single one of the photos using this lens and it gave me really interesting exposure scenarios that I've never sort of had to think about when I'm using my prime lenses. So I suppose sure, you know, we all have our own preferences in you know, where our, our comfort area lies, the places where you know you're gonna do well, you're gonna excel in. But every once in a while, I think it's extremely healthy for us to push ourselves in an area where we're not so comfortable in, you know, stretch ourselves a little bit, to grow a little bit more, um, to learn new things. And if we're doing it, why shouldn't we be doing it with people that are going through the same thing? What better way is there to learn than to learn with people and learning from each other. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe because it's got loads of stuff coming up real soon, loads of projects with local creatives. Yeah, so make sure you get subscribed, make sure you like this video, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'll see you in the next one, bye. Inevitably, it will inevit inevitably.